my children back and forth. If business gets worse here, I will just move back to my hometown. The characters may be cutouts, but as they proclaim in the cartoon, the impact of this five-year plan will be real enough. Rob McBride, Al Jazeera, Beijing. Well, for more on this, I'm joined by the economist and author Jerome Booth, who's in Kuala Lumpur. Um, Jerome Booth, you've urged uh, in a recent book that investors should put more of their money into emerging markets like China. Does this five-year plan then fill you with confidence? Well, we don't know what's in it yet, but I think it's interesting that uh, we've got this advertising campaign because one of the main objectives is to uh, change the uh, driving force of the economy from the export sector to the consumer. And so actually appealing to people, try to encourage them to consume, is really important. And uh, the reason uh, savings are so high at the moment is because of the precautionary motive, because people are saving for, for their retirement, for their uh, children's education. So if the government can use the media to try and persuade them to save a little less uh, and spend more, that's actually good. And that's, uh, that should be the, the focus. You also mentioned in your report you know, the, the urbanization. But urbanization, again, it, it brings problems, but it's fundamentally the way forward for China. And uh, we'll see the next wave of cities growing inland. And uh, urbanization, you know, tends to raise productivity. Yes, it, you know, there are uh, needs for, for a more provision of services, etc. But uh, I think China's uh, got a lot of work to do. Okay. But it's also uh, probably the economy in the world with the most structural reform of any over the last 10 years. So tell it's, us, it's doing the right sort of things. Yeah, tell us a bit more... Um Dr. Booth, if you can, uh, about these five-year plans themselves. I mean, are they robust policy or are they just a, a rough mm -hmm. economic wish list? Well, lots of countries have had uh, economic plans, uh, five-year plans. Uh, India has five-year plans. Of course, the whole aid in industry that, that we have in, in the West, uh, you know, is often based on, on a huge amount of planning. So planning's not gone away. Um, and it can be useful uh, as an indicator. But what's really important, of course, for China is that markets are unleashed. And, you know, we'll see. I'll be watching in particular for, obviously, further liberalization of the, uh, the bond market, development of the bond market, uh, which has huge uh, beneficial effects, uh, disintermediating banks, uh, normalizing, uh, off, you know, off-balance sheet uh, loans, etc. Also, uh, opening up of, the, uh, of the, uh, the capital account. We expect very shortly a uh, decision next month from the IMF to include uh, the currency in the SDR, okay. the special drawing rights of the IMF. So that's important as well. I just want to squeeze in a final question to you. Um, uh, you mentioned them earlier. There are some yep. social aspects to this five-year plan. How important are they within this economic mix? I think they're very important because they do affect uh, savings and consumption behaviour, and that's really important. Um, and just coming back to your original question, should people invest more? I mean, that's why I wrote my book, Emerging Markets in an Upside-Down World. They certainly should. And a large part of the problem is that people reassess, you know, they assess risk completely wrong-headedly. And they think that, you know, uh, China must be riskier at all times than, say, the West. And that's simply not, not, not true. Many of the problems in China are known and solvable, and there are policy solutions out there, as opposed to some of the uh, really quite large problems still in Western Europe right. and the United States, which are still, frankly, denied in, in, many, in many senses. Dr. Jerome Booth, thank you for talking to Al Jazeera.